see. I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do... what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here?
Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the Earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> Welcome back, Anderson. Did you get lost, Anderson? Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. The station heads are not currently available. Access is restricted without their permission. Nice talking to you, too. I wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had.
Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridi- A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. I'll be back in a second. Roger.
Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. <sighs> There's another lunchbox. fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? To record a, a snuff film? <gasps> Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner.
I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. That concludes our debate. I'm gonna go check something Six out. Be, be right back. Got it. For those of you just tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio Hour, brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. And boy, what an eventful day here in Bright Falls. By now, we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town, and I'm sure you're all asking the same question I am. Did they bring all this darn rain with them? Deerfest is right around the corner, and we're all crossing our fingers for sunshine. So, I reached out to our top meteorologist for a weather update. She never responded. But I have her uncle Tapio on the line from Watery. Tapio, are you there? Yes. Great. And Tapio, what kind of weather can we expect today? Rain. Yeah, that definitely seems to be on the menu. <laughs> How about over the next week? Also rain. Right. Care to uh, elaborate? Any chance the sun will poke out in time for Deerfest? No. Well, Deerfest is coming, rain or shine. And that parade lineup is looking dandy as ever. Yes, I like this parade because they're one float in the shape of a swan. Long neck and everything. A very large swan. Ah, so you're a fan of swans? No. Right, well, that's our time. We'll be right back after this next song by the rock and roll sensation, National Nightmare. <laughs> I can't open this with my bare hands.
Hello. Sleepy. Just a few more days. Good to see you. Hey, how are you doing? Rest easy, buddy. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. Ten remaining. Not opening. I can't get through this.
Just a few more days. Welcome back, Anderson. Hi. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, that rich, bittersweet nectar. Get it in, coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. Man, it is I need bolt cutters. Isn't it? Charlene, are you as uncomfortable as I am? You don't think the amount of hot, caffeinated beverages you've downed has anything to do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh, I'm in hell. Swamp ass city. Ugh. Change of topic, please. Come to Coffee World. The thrills never end and the coffee never stops pouring. Now it's 10% off all your coffee purchases. I'll be back in a second. Roger. From the gift shop. Get your thermoses ready for winter. I could use a thermos right now. Drink too much. Whew. You and me both, brother. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our float will be the bell of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. This is my first Deer Fest, so I don't know what to expect, really. It is the finest entertainment a town like ours has to offer. The happiest day of the year. Like Christmas, but better. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. I hate the holidays. Any interesting guests lately? Any good finds? Zilch. But someone left a gross surprise under their bed for housekeeping. They were nuts. So... That's what all that screaming was about? Either that, or the couple on their honeymoon. When you guys said nothing ever happens in this town, you weren't kidding. Not on the surface, at least. Or in the public eye. Okay. I'm gonna get back to that one later, for sure. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. How's that mystery business of yours going? We missed you at trivia night. You did? How badly? <laughs> Stop avoiding the question mark. You know, I have been up to a little something. 
You know, those urban legends about that cult operating in the woods. And a witch haunting the woods? <laughs> yeah, I know the scary stories to keep the kids from falling off cliffs and drowning in lakes. I think there's more to those stories than they let on. Or maybe not the witch one. But there's definitely something going on. And I'm gonna figure out what. Uh-huh. Hey, how's it going? A pretty nice day to be working outside. I don't envy the guy stuck on desk duty. This is where the action is. I need to head back. Careful crossing the road! Jaywalking. The bane of my existence. Who else to keep this city clean if not I? Who else to protect its citizens from the dangers of unsanitary conditions? Trash, garbage. I need something to cut this. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's... Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No. No, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. You can go ahead, Anderson. We'll be here. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm going to be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. It'll take your mind off things.
We're getting some more new folks in town, I see. Good day. See you around. This is exactly why I hate small towns. Keep it down, lad. You know how touchy these rural types can be. I feel bad for these guys. Nine remaining. Open this with my bare hands. Good day. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This. Naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, oh. and then we found out. <laughs> the whole thing was terrifying. That's all. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. <laughs> 